Lupus, an autoimmune disease, is the most complex and unpredictable of all diseases. Lupus can occur at any given time, minute to minute, day to day, month to month, or over a period of years. Lupus can be mild, moderate, or severe. Lupus may affect one or more organs in the body and cause symptoms. In acute cases, lupus may cause permanent damage to vital organs. How does our immune system attack all those germs anyway? And where exactly is this battle taking place? Amazingly, the immune system is made up of many different cells, which are found in every part of our body. Let's have a quick look at the organs that make up our body. Our brain connects to a vast network of nerves that run throughout our body. Our heart pumps blood and our lungs make sure oxygen is carried to every cell in our body. Our kidneys get rid of the extra water and the waste that our cells produce. There are many different kinds of cells and hundreds of other components that make up our immune system. Some of them science may not yet have discovered. Each immune cell has its own special job to do to keep our organs healthy when we get an infection. When a part of this process does not occur properly, we become ill. All the cells in our body are very tiny. But if you were to look through a microscope, each cell would look a bit like a fried egg. A cold germ breaks through the cell lining of Norma's throat. But look out. A macrophage cell, or MAC, keeps watch and is ready for action at a moment's notice. MAC gets angry at the invader and a MAC attack begins. But watch out, more germs keep coming. The cold germ inside of MAC divides too quickly. Poor MAC is outnumbered by the germs. And Once in the lymph node, dendritic cell meets up with a new troop of immune cells, including the generals of the immune system army. The T lymphocytes, or T cells, Dendritic cell tries to find the T cell that will recognize this particular germ. To do this, the little germ pieces bubble up to the surface of dendritic cell's fingertips. But it's not always easy to make a match. Finally, one of the T cells recognizes this particular cold germ. That special T cell divides to make two more T cells just like it, and those cells divide to make four T cells, on and on, until a large army is built up and ready to fight the cold germ. The kidney is another important battlefield in lupus. Anti-DNA autoantibodies flood in to clog the kidney filters and are joined by complement. No wonder the kidneys can't get rid of the body's waste. Even T cells and Max that don't usually belong in the kidneys show up there and make more cytokines. A rheumatologist is a medical doctor who's had years of special training in diseases like lupus. She recognizes the pattern of Lisa's symptoms and confirms a diagnosis of lupus with special blood tests. She prescribed some different medications to help Lisa's immune system calm down, which will help her feel better. Lupus is a very unpredictable disease. No one, not even her rheumatologist, can tell Lisa exactly what might happen in the future. Living with this uncertainty is one of the biggest challenges of having lupus. Scientists are working hard to find clues that will help doctors, researchers, and drug companies better understand this complex disease.